In the impact segment tonight, is the mainstream media being fair and balanced in their portrayal of the Ground Zero Moss controversy? Here's CBS News anchor Katie Couric's take on the situation. When loudspeakers are blaring, born in the USA, and signs say no clubhouse for terrorists, it's clear we aren't just talking about a mosque anymore. There is a debate to be had about the sensitivity of building this center so close to ground zero. But we cannot let fear and rage tear down the towers of our core American values. Joining us from New York, Fox News analyst Alan Combs. All right, Alan, so you just heard the tape of uh, what Katie Couric said. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think she's uh, weighing into this controversy and, and maybe favoring the side of the people well, who want the mosque to be where it is? Why that we shouldn't let fear and rage tear down the towers of core American values? Do you disagree with that? Well, it sounds like she was actually characterizing the anti-mosque uh, at near ground zero I don't know. Do viewpoint. You, do you think and, that? And what, what I thought was interesting, Alan, is when you looked at the two protests the other mm -hmm. day, right? Some people were screaming. I saw some video of uh, some of the pro-mosque right. folks saying this is racism and hate, and right. the other people were just as you know, just as upset. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. This is a this is an interesting debate. I think it's actually a good debate for us to have about I, assimilation I think it's and a sensitivity. Great there's nothing we're wrong with it. Who the intolerant people are in this country? It's interesting that the word tolerance was used with you and the love fest you had with Liz Cheney. But who the, the real intolerance we're seeing are from those people who don't seem to believe in religious freedom in this country. And I'm interested that you're you you were very much for this when you interviewed uh, Daisy uh, Khan or spoke with her. Uh, Actually, you're not reading the transcript correctly, I did read the Alan. Transcript. I never, I never said I was for building the mosque did. 600 feet you of ground zero. Said I, I, I don't said I like what you're it. doing. I like no, what you're I said doing, I can't is, find a right. lot of people who have a problem with it. I like what she said yeah. about bringing Muslims into the American and that, experience, right. and, and I has, and I repeated that last night. And Absolutely, that hasn't, changed. that hasn't changed. When she goes on television mm -hmm. and calls people who question the positioning of the mosque, where it is, not the right to build it, right. but the place of building as people who hate Muslims you know, I, you know, I, you know I reject that here, that's intolerant what's happening here is a smear campaign against this imam and his wife that's what's going on here Blood on you're their extracting hands? out of context something he said in 2005 without the full context of what he said he has been very clear in fact in a book that he wrote published by the company that distributes this show uh, by Harper San Francisco he talked about how wrong it is to ever have terrorism to kill anybody in the name of religion well he Islam seems to say do that. Right. why are well, his think, full comments said I think in Alan, full context Laura what I think what he says and all the Fox News has been playing these comments I think what he says to one audience oftentimes differs from what he says to another not audience. true not true because and the full it depends on what audience true. you're talking to not true. Alan do you agree with his statement that America has more blood on its hands than Al Qaeda do you uh, agree with that statement uh, yes or no? I agree with it in the broader context and by the Wait, you know, also said oh, okay. that Michael Scheuer, uh, the head of the Bin Laden unit of the CIA, uh, CIA at one point, who said, who said, they don't hate us because who we are, they hate us because of what we do. And he was embraced by conservatives he said we have when more he said blood that on our hands? because of the, no, our he didn't action, say that. Well, if I may finish, if, if because of our actions overseas, the truth of the matter is, because of the vehemence with which we've gone into Iraq and Afghanistan, we have had more uh, co uh, collateral well, damage. President Obama's the, the commander in chief now. We, Take that up with him. But the an, idea uh, that's that not the this issue, man Laura. is building bridges, Alan. Right, well, let me know Here's my can, question. Let me you. know when I can speak. He, well, you just you mischaracterized no, an I interview on this let show. Me know yes, when you I can did actually from re December. Respond to your question. And I'm glad we're friends. Um, <laughs> the the idea that a man who's supposed to be building bridges, whether mm -hmm. you agree with him or not, makes statements about America having more blood on her hands than Al Qaeda. Uh, that that is going to be an effective Laura, bridge builder? you are guilty builder? of smearing a man by taking one sentence out of contest and ignoring the number of things that you said that are indeed bridge building and that have, the fact is, uh, if you look at the actual metrics, yes, we have to understand how our actions in other parts of the world affect our view of us. We have Americans dying right now in Afghanistan and Iraq right. in order to promote Islamic countries and work on behalf of Muslims. We have Muslims in the American military have died. Right. Muslims Absolutely. died on 9-11. It's about Absolutely. time we stopped this divisive rhetoric and showed a little tolerance about religious freedom oh, and stop arguing goes over one location. Way, the talents, tolerance only goes one way. We're it goes supposed always, to bend Laura. to the wishes of everybody else, but we can't even ask questions in our country anymore. Questions aren't allowed, it's, I guess. Let's talk about what we the intent is of these questions. Ask, the intent is to smear a man who's been a harbinger of peace smearing. and has been it's sent out by the State Department of the yeah. last two administrations to send that message. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't do the vetting of him either, but Alan, I appreciate it. Oh, that was rough. Up next, the Obama...
In the Unresolved Problems segment tonight, the White House announced today that President Obama is going to address the nation on the Iraq troop reduction next Tuesday from the Oval Office. Vice President Biden is optimistic about the Iraq situation. War. With us now is Fox News strategic analyst, Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters, the author of the great book, The Endless War. Colonel Peters, before we get into that uh, flip flop maybe, what do you think of this uh, calm smackdown we just had? Okay. I mean, Look. My old friend, Alan Combs. Yeah, Alan Combs needs to leave the humor to John Stewart. John Stewart is funny on purpose and he's good at it. Alan Combs is funny by accident and he's not good at it. And uh, you notice that Alan didn't answer your question, which was, do you, he didn't really answer it. Do you believe that America's guilty, more, has more blood on its hands than Al Qaeda, as Imam Rauf said publicly? Well, we all know that's not true. We all know the crazy claim that Imam Rauf made about 500,000 Iraqi babies starved to death because of America. It's not true. If, if, if in a, ni a nation of 26 million, like Iraq, 500,000 infants had starved to death, there'd be a missing generation. Well, and, you know, and, and the idea that, that once we learn more about what Ms. Khan and her husband obviously think about America, regardless of what, what you think about an Islamic center anywhere, their views about America, how are they bridge builders? How is that going to help bridge a divide between Muslims who still distrust the American way of life or Americans' intentions and, and, and the rest of the world or us? I mean, it doesn't foster anything except more stereotypes. That's yeah. my whole point. And I learned a lot since December when I talked to Daisy Khan. I liked her original idea about assimilation, yeah, but well, now we're learning more. Well, of course you liked her because these people are really good cons. I mean, that's what Are you cons doing do. A, doing a, a play on words, that's unfortunate. No, we, I, we can. Okay, but hey, I, you, you should do the John Stewart okay, thing. Okay, fine. Okay, but seriously, uh, these people are playing the American this liberal establishment elite for all it's worth. And if Imam Rauf got on TV tomorrow and said, I think America is evil and hateful and I hope it is destroyed, the New York Times would explain that. Well, really, he didn't mean it that way. You have to take it in context. Well, the elites really are more afraid of, of conservative Christians, are they not, oftentimes, than they are afraid of anything al-Qaeda or jihadists are ever going to do to the country. I mean, we're really the bigger threat. Than, and, well, I, and so I think they don't really have problems when they hear stuff like that, because they, a lot of them believe that America is just pr pretty much a negative force in the world. Look, I